What's going on guys, Dan Kale here with Liquidation Pros and that just gives you a quick sneak peek of what I am on my way uh, to go work on. Uh, I bought two pallets of Target liquidation merchandise. This was uh, like health and beauty stuff, but more specifically, it was a lot of hair care products, deodorants, um, you know, a lot of uh, HBA type items. Sorry I'm driving while filming this, by the way, too. Uh, this, it is currently five, almost 5.30 on a Tuesday night and I have my wife that's getting ready to, she's dropping the kids off now she's gonna be meeting me at the warehouse and then my helper Garrett is also coming we're gonna to try to knock these pallets out and sort them out in about two hours two to three hours is what my hope is uh, there's probably gonna be some cleanup and then some some sub sorting back at home later on but that's the goal is to get these knocked out my uh, my buddy Lenny called I'm not sure if the clip you saw was you know the mess that was left but basically called me and let me know that the two pallets that I was supposed to get on Friday came today on Tuesday. I did get a call and say that they were delayed, but needless to say, two pallets of Target showed up and he said the one was a mess. It was pretty much like busting out of the pallet onto the truck. Uh, and then as they're taking it off the truck onto the warehouse floor, more stuff was falling out. So he was kind of like, you know, it's not in his way. He's not that worried about it. He's more worried about me losing product or me having a bunch of damaged product and more concerned whether I should sign for it or not, which I said, yeah, you can go ahead and sign for it. Uh, we'll take account and see if we're missing anything, anything major. Uh, you're always going to have a small variance of stuff of loss and missing items or if sometimes if you're lucky, you might, they might undercount. You might get a few extra items. Uh, not normally the case though. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to get there, deal with this mess that you guys have probably already seen, and then we're going to start sorting the stuff out. What I want to do is any items that I think I can sell on eBay or Amazon that are brand new, perfectly good condition, not expired, I want to take back to my home office, the basement, um, to work on the process to get those listed. And then anything that's flea market or what I'm hoping to do my first warehouse, warehouse sale next month, um, I want to sort like one, three, and five. So the cheaper low-end items, I want to get one, three, or five dollars for. That seems to be a sweet spot for the area I'm in, especially down the flea market. Um, so that would kind of carry over. If items don't sell well at the flea market, maybe they'll sell at the warehouse sale. It's a little bit different clientele, different area. So I'm going to try that out uh, here next month. But I do plan to go to the flea market before that. So we got some sorting to do and um, some items, some five, four, five, six dollar items you may see me pulling aside for eBay. The reason being is some of them I have 100, 200, even in one case I have 400 of one deodorant, deodorant and 300 of the other. And those are selling really well as three packs on eBay. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make bundles, three packs, six packs, 12 pack, whatever it takes to try to move that product and get a... Uh, get as much out of the inventory, the good inventory as I can, because down the flea market, a stick of deodorant, somebody may only want to spend 50 cents or a dollar for, um, for, you know, a $5 item, which is understandable. Um, I want to try to get as much, you know, bang for my buck. So if I can take a three pack, sell it for $12.95 after, you know, four bucks in shipping and my fees, I'm still going to profit about $5 on three sticks. That would be more than I could get at the flea market in most cases. So anyhow, that's what I'm up to. Stay tuned and the next video you'll see, uh, I'll be back at the warehouse and we're going to get started on this load. All right guys, so this video is about to be to be continued. I didn't do any filming. Um, we were all hands on deck, myself, my wife, and my helper Garrett. Um, I was scanning, looking products up here, the scan station. Um, we had products being pulled out and sorted out on this table. And then we were going through and basically we were recycling the boxes that they came on the pallets, plus a few extras that I had. But basically, I have an eBay box, or what I'm going to call a potential eBay, $5, $3, $1 box. So those were the categories. Um, pretty much, if, um, if I could get more than, like, the $5 items are typically, like, 15 or more at the store. $3 items are going to be closer to, like, a 10 And then the $1 items are going to be, like, your 5 3 4 3 2 or below. So some cheaper items in there. <clears throat> Basically from the two pallets, we still have this much on this one and this one here, which is kind of all over the place, boxes there. And then I have about 
equal amount, maybe not quite that much, but about five of these size boxes. So like that top layer of eBay stuff in my truck already to go home, get ready to leave now. But this is all flea market stuff price. You see one, three, 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 a lot of $3 items. Uh, and then these are just boxes. Like we have a lot of these specific items, this fragrance mist and these will all be this Dove spray. Surprisingly, like a three pack of both of these is going for between 10 to $15. This is all like makeup and nail polish. Sorting out there. Down here, this is all like hair coloring. Kristen S hair color. Garner Fructis. So some of these will be bundled up. Some are worth selling individually. And like I said, this was eBay. So a hair growth treatment. Um, I, unfortunately, I could probably use that. These spray-on hair masks. Um, now, some of these are probably not worth it to sell on eBay on, your, on their own, but a lot of them I have like 10, 15, 20 of, or I'm waiting, like this one I have eight of, um, this Tio Nacho shampoo, pretty cool bottle. Um, this, this type of item, I'm waiting to find the others. I think there's seven more of those, so they'll get bundled together as a two-pack for like around uh, 14 or 17.95, and they'll go in a priority flat rate envelope. And then these are the example of some of the $5 items, Paul Michelle, or Paul Mitchell, I'm sorry, Kristen S. Ray Sleeps stuff, conditioners, all kinds of hair products, soaps, uh, kids soap, body wash. These are $3 items here. And then these are just cheaper, $1 or less. So anyhow, there's a ton more to go through. We didn't even really scratch the surface. Um, Together, the three of us worked for about two hours by the time I got everything set up and prepped. Uh, I'm gonna break this stuff down and we're gonna come back. Um, I'm actually gonna take the next, I'm working tomorrow and I'm taking two days off and then I'll be back down here. So uh, stay tuned. Your next video you'll see will be a couple days later, but we'll finish go through them going through this stuff and give you a better idea of what I got. All right guys, so this video took, uh, I wouldn't say a term for the worst, but that day or the previous recording you just watched at the warehouse, um, I never even had a chance to break out the filming again, the camera again. Um, we got basically had right around two hours to get done as much sorting and uh, clean up and scanning that we could. Uh, it was my wife, myself and my helper Garrett we got through only about half a pallet. The small liquid products were taking a lot longer. It was like right around 4,000 items, so um, roughly 2,000 per pallet. But then um, we went back on Sunday and also brought two of my older daughters and one of my older nieces, and <clears throat> we were able to finish sorting everything out. So just to give you a, a quick idea, these are just two boxes. Um, what we have, what I'm showing you now is all everything that qualifies for, like it should be worth enough to put on eBay. Now, some of it we might have to lot up into like a two pack, a three pack, even maybe even a six pack. But this gives you a general idea of some of the stuff that we're flagging for eBay. For instance, head and shoulders, you know, that might only be five bucks at Target. But if we do like a three pack, um, we should be able to get like $17.95, something around there. Like a lot of these... Uh, bedhead products are selling really well on eBay and look at that those are brand new uh, a lot of this stuff is all brand new We will have to remove those labels But really some really good inventory uh, Check this out all of these boxes right here and even these are all brand new deodorants secret pH balance So it's about 800 deodorants um, These were actually though. They've been knocked down these are actually made to pull right out and it's it's made for the shelf for like the end cap displays. So when Target does like their end caps, the company ships them with the cap. They pull it out of the box, stick, stick it on the shelf and uh, it's good to go. So all that deodorant was included in that. Um, the stuff that we started sorting now for eBay and then all these boxes were all items that we determined were worth enough to potentially put on eBay. So we had to sort everything. So we're sorting, separating cheaper stuff, damaged stuff. And if we think the item is good and valuable enough, it goes back to my home office to be sorted out or be, to be sold online. Um, everything we left about a pallet of stuff at the warehouse. And that stuff was lower end, uh, under $10, under $5. So basically how we did it was 
I had a, the scanner set up to tell us what the estimated flea market price would be. So basically doing between, uh, I put it, I set it for 65% off and then round up. So at the end on average, it's probably 50% off of what you'd buy at Target. So a $5 item would ring, would scan at say uh, $2 and then we'd round it up to three because we were doing one, three and five. So a $5 item would have a $3 sticker on it. And then obviously we'll negotiate if the customer is buying a bunch of stuff, we always give discounts. So we tend, when we're doing some liquidation at flea markets, uh, yard sales, we price it anywhere from like 50 to 90% off, depending on what it is. Uh, let me show you a couple of these boxes because I'm pretty much going to end this video off. The You'll see a lot of this beauty stuff over the next coming weeks as we start doing our, uh, starting to be springtime, as we start doing our sales. But... You know, this is how it comes from the warehouse and it needs to be sorted again. So this is all potentially higher end items, Sweet Chef Superfood. And you know, some of them, like I said, may only be a five or $10 item, but we have multiples. Like for instance, these, we might be doing like a two pack, a three pack. There's, there's a bunch of these, one, two, three, four, five. So these are probably some sort of, uh, we're probably gonna bundle those up. This Nexus brand, if you guys see this, um, a lot of this in the lots, the same brand here. This stuff sells for a lot of money and really well. So today, uh, love and love beauty and the planet. Just so much stuff. What I'm going to do is um, sort a lot of this stuff out. I'm not sure how much I'll get through today, but at some point I'll try to do another snapshot video of everything out so you guys can take a look at what I got off of that load. Um, I do apologize for not having more video at the warehouse and showing the entire process, but uh, like I said, the one day it was only a couple of hours and we were so busy that by the time I looked at the clock, it was like it's eight after eight o'clock. My wife had to go get the kids. I had to clean everything up from the warehouse, so just a super busy crazy day and then the sunday we went back i forgot to bring the gopro and didn't do any filming then um also we had the kids so i was kind of like in the back of my mind even if i did have the gopro uh, i try not to put the kids in my videos um just because that's what the choices me and my wife have made so anyhow this is what we got i'll check back in with you guys in a little bit uh, i will say this stuff for whatever reason the the tresemme um it's it's a cheaper not cheaper, but like, you know, this is probably a four or five hour item, but this one restyled for the planet. Um, these not so much. This shouldn't, these shouldn't be here, the stick and fuel, but I, I wanted all the ones that are restyled for the planet and the other ones that were not that like this one here, this should have been in the flea market, but these, these people were selling a conditioner and a shampoo like this for $20 on eBay. So I was shocked because they only have like a $5 retail value. Um, I think we were putting these other ones that are not restyled for the planet, like this one, in the flea market bin for $3. So I was pretty excited to see that. Um, there was a couple other brands here that actually the item itself was selling for more on eBay than it was at Target, which I found interesting. Um, I will say the bedhead too, all these were selling this type a bedhead products sell really well. These are selling well. Some are missing caps. What we'll do is we will weigh everything with a, a digital scale. We'll put it on grams so it's you know, super accurate. And we'll double check. We'll you know we'll weigh all these and say, okay, once we've weighed a couple and they're all exactly the same, and then we get one that's a little bit less, obviously we know some leaked out. Um, and we'll put that one to the side or put it back into the flea market pile. And if it's like extremely low, like half. Um, it will probably just have to get discarded or, or uh, thrown in like our dollar bin that we have. So anyhow, that's what I'm up to. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. All right, guys. So quick video. It's actually two days later. Um, don't mind the noise, kids, and what you might hear in the background. Um, kids are homeschooling today. It's Friday. And my oldest daughter, over the course of the past two nights, the one night she's worked like for maybe like an hour, um, and the other night, last night she worked for like two and a half hours. So she was able to sort everything out for me and did a really great job. She, she pretty much has a photographic memory, unlike me, um, to where she was remembering the items based on like the colors and did a really good job sorting them all out and remembering where they go. So we have all that there sorted, um, all this down here sorted out and then all this sorted out. 
So all these different um, hair and beauty supplies all uh, match up by brand. You know, there's Argan Oil uh, by Raw Smoothie, Bedhead there. Uh, I can't see these labels, a lot of these labels sucking. Uh, let's see, some sort of hair cream, I think. Bedhead, I said Nexus. This is all Nexus stuff. These are all Nexus. So these regularly $14.99. Um, I would have paid like a dollar fifty for these because I paid actually paid around eleven percent, so maybe slightly more than that, but not much more. Uh, all this is all Tresemme. This box here and all these and these are like I said, those ones that are the restyled for Planet. So I'm gonna do like a shampoo and conditioner matched up to sell those for twenty bucks. There's some Dove products. Some of these may be a little bit too low end, but we'll see. These are all Sun Bomb. All these here. And then a cure, more Nexus. So just so much stuff. Give you a look down here. Tio Nacho. Uh, there's even some Glade sprayers just for men. Ladybugs, Oral B. You know these refills. Uh, these are like ten or fifteen bucks at the store. So uh, bundle them up in two and three packs. Some more hair care stuff. Pantene Pro V. There was even a New York, uh, that's the Giants, I believe. Yeah, New York Giants. Nice Tervis. Um, this actually sold already. Someone's picking this up today. So this was a $60 airbed. And the way I do for Facebook Marketplace, because I didn't want to ship this, it would just completely kill the value of the item. so heavy. Is um, <clears throat> I marketed half of what retail is. And I say it in the listing. So this is a $60 item. Uh, I priced it for $30 or best offer. Um, someone's picking it up today for 30 bucks. So an item like that, I paid around 11%. So I paid just under $7 for. So really good profit margin there. All right, so then uh, real quick on this last table, I'm obviously not showing you guys everything. Just a quick idea. Hustle and Company, all that stuff there. <clears throat> Some of this suave for kids. Um, it's only like a $359 item. But people are selling three and four packs of this stuff on eBay for like 12 to 15 bucks. So we're going to bundle those up. Um, this brand, Main and Tail, does really well. So a bunch of that. Brand new six packs of um, sun, uh, sunscreen. So much stuff. Axe, uh, hair wax. This is more bedhead because we ran out of room over there. This brand sells really well. Uh, Biolage. And we have a bunch of that stuff. I'm not sure. Eve. Ivanye, maybe. I'm not not sure about how to pronounce that. You guys can probably tell me down in the comments. Hair food. This is the honey and apricot. And then this is all head and shoulders. We're going to do bundles of those. And then this is all sell some blue. Uh, real quick, too. Let me show you over here. So this is our photo area. Um, <clears throat> my second daughter pulled all the clearance labels off of these already. These are selling pretty decent. People are selling two, three, six packs of these. They only retail for like five bucks a piece. Um, so I think I'm gonna do like three for 10 or three for 12.95 on those. And then these also, um, she was working on the Water and Bliss by Fragrance Mist, or Fragrance Mist by Water and Bliss, I should say. Uh, same thing, these are like a $5 item. Um, they're selling for around six bucks a piece and they're selling pretty regularly. They're also selling on Amazon. So <clears throat> I did have her bundle a few up um, An item or not bundle. I'm sorry remove labels and bag a few So and then these down here are not bagged yet, but they're ready to go a couple hundred of those we had and a couple hundred of those Let me just check real quick. Oh, we had 728 of the deodorants which I showed you earlier those Dove, we had 157 and about 165 of these, the waterless uh, fragrance mist. So all in all, actually really happy with this, uh, with this load. This is, like I said, about half of the product that's worth, potentially worth putting online. Some of it, as we go through it, we might find maybe it's not as, as good as we thought. But after doing a quick scan at the warehouse, this is the stuff we flagged as being potentially sold online. Now, the other half of the products are all at the warehouse still. They're sorted by value. 
um, to be resold to flea markets, warehouse sale, um, yard sales, stuff like that. So that stuff, I'm probably going to maybe only double or possibly triple my money um, items. And some of it will be an actual complete loss. There's certain items that were damaged or that, you know, when you have thousands of items, like this was like almost 4,000 items, I think. Let's see. Um, 3,800 items. It was a retail value of around $28,000. And I paid like just right, just under like, it was like 2950 something. So just under 3000. So basically like 11%, we'll say. When you have that many items, you're going to never be able to sell it all. Some of it you would just have to bundle up or do like fill a bag or literally uh, throw away, donate, or I have like other flea market vendors that will come in and buy like what's left of my table for say 150, 200 bucks. And they're getting hundreds of items and they're getting it for less for either what I paid or even less, but I'm moving that product and getting on to the next deal. So I know that some of those items, I won't recoup all of my money, but the goal with the flea market stuff is to try to double or triple on some of the items. And then um, that way it helps make up for the ones I'm losing on. All the items here at the house are going to be a lot bigger profit margins. You know, items that um, these say are, say these are five bucks at Target, and I'm going to do a two pack for twelve ninety five, free shipping. It's going to cost me about four dollars shipping. Uh, it's going to cost me about a dollar fifty in fees, but I only paid fifty cents a piece for these items around. So that's only a dollar, um, a dollar investment for a two pack for a five dollar profit. So that's a five x return, uh, and that's pretty much across the board. A lot of this stuff, the Nexus stuff, you know, if it's if it's regular eighteen dollars, I paid a dollar eighty. Um, a lot of this stuff is going for like between eight to twelve dollars a piece. So when I start bundling things up uh, to move it a little bit faster, I'll give the customer a little bit of a break in the pricing, but ultimately it's. It, in the end of the day, it's like the customer gets a better deal for the bundle and I get more profit because the shipping and fees, not really the fees so much, but the shipping for first class, you know, three fifty, four dollars here and there, as long as the two pack kind of stays in that first class range, it's only like an increase of a dollar to give the customer maybe a two dollar discount if they're buying more. Um that nets me an additional dollar or two profit for that sale and also moves the product a little bit quicker. So normally when it's a really hot item that's like valued at 10 or so, I will list it individually. But that same item I'll also list as a bundle and then I'll keep track of the inventory and make sure that uh, I don't oversell it. So if my singles are selling faster, I may pull back my quantity on my bundles or if my bundles are doing really well, uh, I may do the same thing. And then just real quick, the deodorant, I did sell three packs. So to give you a quick rundown on that, um, these deodorants are like five dollars for something a piece, so my cost is around fifty cents. Um, there's a whole box of them here. Uh, there's more down there. These is all these boxes are completely full. Hundreds, uh, what did I say? Seven hundred, eight hundred of these. So I sold a three pack of these. Um, three pack of those for twelve ninety five. I just had a customer send me in. Or a customer was watching it, I guess, within the first two days. I sent offers out last night and woke up this morning and someone already bought one. Um, they ended up, the offer was like eleven sixty five is what they paid for a three pack. So my cost once again is around a dollar fifty uh, after shipping and fees and all that. My net profit on one of those is around five dollars. Whereas if I sold the individual, there's people selling singles at say six dollars with free ship. After all the fees and everything, they're only going to net like a dollar or something per unit. Um, whereas I'm, if you break down the five dollars profit divided by three, I'm netting almost two dollars per unit. So that's why the bundle can be really, uh, really beneficial as far as profit margins go. Anyhow, I'm rambling on. That's going to be it for this video. Sorry I didn't show you guys a whole lot at the warehouse, but I think you get the gist. It was mainly just kind of sorting through everything. Um, really thankful that my daughter was able to sort this out uh you know would have took me the better part of a night to go through and get it all together she was able to do it um, i gave her some cash i gave my other daughter some cash for helping taking this off they're excited to help dad out and make some money so they can go to five below or save up for something bigger so anyhow i hope you're enjoying the content and stay tuned for more liquidation buys and i'll catch you in the next one peace